Seven best Docker containers for your home server. Find the article and read it for yourself. I'll include the link in the description. And these should work for your small office if you are a small business also. Now this one's pretty important for anyone who is running a web server. Fail to ban will then monitor the web server and your email and just activity on the server as a whole. It's smart enough to recognize patterns and add them to your firewall. So yeah, that's a nice tool to have. Jellyfin is an open source media server, which turns then, you know, can allow you to broadcast to any device within the network, whatever you want to broadcast. So if you're like doing in home or in office advertising for clients, that's a nice touch to have. Next cloud is exactly what it is. It's a cross platform file sharing server. So, and I've tinkered with it a little bit. It does do really, really good. It also works good for backups, you know, sharing across multiple devices, whether it be iPhone, Android, PCs, it's a really nice tool to have. And it partners with fail to ban very well too. Now Watchtower is one of those auto update programs. So if, if you have problems with remembering to update your server and so on and so forth, this is the program that will do it for you. And then there is Home Assistant, which is for your smart home. Net data for tracking all of the information on your server, make sure it's running the way it's supposed to. And Duplicate I, you know, for backing up your home server because backups are incredibly important. Again, all of those will run for a small office or a micro office, and it's really handy to have some of those tools. Like I said, the fail to ban and the uh, next cloud, you know, so you have access to everything when you're out in the field. It's just, those are all nice programs. Anywho, give me your thoughts and like, share, subscribe and all that stuff too.